Sometimes your house doesn't have a good window that gets that morning sun that all plants need to convert light into energy through chlorophyll. So don't give up buying orchids just because of that. There are 33 kinds of orchids that actually like these shadier conditions. And in this article, I'm not going to talk about all 33 because that would be a humongous article, but I am going to talk about the three most common. Throughout this video, post the names of these 30 down here so you can read them and pick which orchid best suits your conditions. Hi, I'm Amanda Matthews and thank you for watching this video at Orchidaria. So today we're going to talk about the three most common low light orchids. Low light does not mean no light at all. All plants, all of them need some form of light because that's how they get their energy. It's not only through the root systems. The chlorophyll in the leaves with the help of carbon dioxide will transform this light into energy that helps them keep alive. So when you get an orchid that is a low light orchid, that means that you can put it in a corner of your living room that is still bright, that does not get direct light, but it still needs some form of light. Do not put it in a dark shelf or do not hide it away in a corner that of your bedroom that does not get any light whatsoever. You will kill your orchid if you do that. So let's go on to the three most common low light orchids. Technically, when you're looking for low light orchids, you're looking for an orchid that is in between 1000 and 1200 foot candles. Now, a foot candle is how much light that when you light one candle, how much light will be accessible in one foot if that light reaches one foot. So orchids are divided into these three categories of high, intermediate and low light orchids. When you look for an orchid online or in a nursery, you need to ask if it's a low light orchid. So you can have a parameter at the equator at noon during summer. The number of foot candles is in between 5,000 and 6,000. In the continental United States during summer, during midday, at noon, all those things is going to be between 3,000 and 4,000. If it's really cloudy and overcast and just a gloomy day, then you can get in between 80 foot candles. A home office that has just natural, just has fluorescent lighting in it can be between 50 and 100 foot candles. You can already tell that growing orchids in a home office with just the lighting that the office provides is not the best condition for your orchid. You'll need to be providing in between 1000 and 1200. Your cell phone has a app that you can download. It's not usually perfect, but it will give you an idea because all cameras that are in cell phones have to measure the light to get a better exposure of the picture. So this app just reads what your cam, what your cell phone already does, your smartphone. So what you can do is download these apps and just get an idea, turn on the app and it will tell you, oh, this environment has so many, and it will read it not in foot candles, but in lumens. And you can transform that with a mathematical equation right here. The first orchid that loves low light, in fact, if you put this orchid in high sunlight, it will die, is a Phalaenopsis orchid, which is great because those are the ones that come in supermarkets and big box stores. All nurseries have them. They are the most common orchid, sometimes called moth orchids. To test if your Phalaenopsis orchid is in the right light, you need to, and you don't have a app to measure that, you can put your hand on top the leaf, the shadow that projects onto the leaf. If you can see the perfect outline of your fingers, that's too high. For a phalaenopsis, it needs to 
you need to see that there is something in there giving off a shadow and you can see a blurry outline that's the perfect lighting for your phalaenopsis orchid the second group of orchids that are low light are pathiopetalums i don't have a pathiopetalum with me but i do have a phragmopedium and it's kind of related it will have it's the same kind of slipper orchid that will grow in these lower light conditions Phragmopediums are more similar to household plants and often a group of orchids that are forgotten as beginner orchids because they are terrestrial. They do not like soil, okay? They are terrestrial, but that just means that they like to sit on the leaf litter and on a layer of moss and the roots will dangle down into this moss layer. So don't get potting soil that you have at your house and just pot them in that. They're terrestrial orchids, not terrestrial houseplants. But they're the same kind of idea, so they're easy to get used to. Also, Phragmopediums will love high humidity. So if you want to keep them in the bathroom, and I do have objections with this on both sides, um, there are good arguments on both sides of why to keep them in there and why not to keep them in there. So phragmopediums will like higher humidity. So they like the lower light levels and higher humidity levels. Miltonias. Now miltonias are also low light orchids, but there are two groups of them. So make sure you buy the right group. Recently, well, I'll say recently, but it's not that recent. The Miltonias have been divided into, into Miltonias and Miltoniopsis. There are two different types of orchids. One is a cool growing orchid. The other is a warm growing orchid. The temperature requirements change, but also do the light requirements. So when you're going to buy Miltonias, get the cool growing Miltonias. Miltonias have cute little pansy type flowers cute no beautiful pansy type flowers and their light requirements are exactly the same as the phalaenopsis which is around 1000 to 1200 foot candles exactly like the phragmopedium the miltonias will prefer a higher humidity also so you notice these three have similar growing conditions all these three orchids will burn, will sunburn the leaves if you put them in direct sun. Also, the heat will burn the leaves. It's not only direct sun that can cause the damage, it's the temperature that can cause the damage too. In this list of 33 orchids that you can grow in less light than most orchids do, I hope you find one that can fit your conditions because it's not because that your house doesn't provide the right conditions that you will give up on orchid care. Like my house does not have one good window. All my orchids have to be grown under artificial light. If you did find an orchid on this list or if it provided some kind of information that added value to your knowledge about orchids, please hit that like button. That means so much to me and, it, and it's just a little feedback of what I should be doing or what I should not be doing. So I appreciate it if you do. And don't stop your orchid care here. The first video I can recommend is this one up here about temperatures. What is the correct temperature to keep your orchid in during all seasons of the year? And the other video down here talks about light requirements and artificial lights. What are the four types of lights? How to put them up? How, what's the distance between the lights? Because it, just because my house doesn't have good natural sunlight coming through the windows, I'm not going to give up on my orchid care. So it's all about artificial lights. Thank you so much for watching this video and happy cultivating.